Wow, wow, wow. Fourth Yola in the last year. Yola V8. I wonder, will we get fifth one? Let's discuss it. I drew this image and I hope I didn't miss anything. But each time it's more and more difficult. I can show you a lot of images with accuracy and speed comparison. But they are useless. Every test set has a different GPU and no one have NPU or CPU. Everyone use different batch sizes. The accuracy measured on COCA. If you have different data set, the image will be completely different. YOLA's neural networks are not just neural networks. It's a neural network and a bunch of augmentations. And sometimes you need to disable some of augmentation on your specific data set. And it will dramatically change the quality of this neural network. As a result, you can just take the best neural network. You need to verify it on your data or choose by different features. We will discuss them or just take random and usually it's enough for most of the task. Sometimes you can find relevant articles with relevant comparison for your specific platform. For example, you can look at my articles about comparison of embedded platform. But does it make sense to switch from one YOLO to another? And let me highlight a few points. License. The great news is that none of YOLOs use a fully commercial license, even no LGPL license, but many do use GPL version, version 3 license. And the problem with the GPL is that you either put some of your product's code into open source, of course there are a lot of various tricks with it, or you pay royalties for a non-GPL version, free as a freedom. Learning stability. The more labeling error your dataset has, the worse the training procedure will be. And this is a very difficult characteristic to compare. But I can say that YOLA v4 is less stable than YOLO v5 out of the box. And the only comparison for YOLO v8 that I have is RobotFlow. And RobotFlow claims in the video uh, about YOLO v8 that it's much more stable than other YOLOs. But I am not tested myself. The is to conversion to the edge. And here, of course, the favorites are YOLO v5. Uh, at this time, you can convert YOLO v8 only in ONNX format, but I hope that uh, the old conversion from YOLO v5 will work just in a few weeks or so. And I hope that YOLO v8 will be the same like YOLO v5. And the conversion script are much better than any other YOLO family. Fourth one, uh, code quality and uh, how easy to use. And uh, YOLO v5 have very big community around it. It have over uh, 40,000 likes on GitHub. And of course, if they can export this guys uh, from the community into YOLA v8, they will have the same quality fifth one. Speed accuracy. At the moment uh, there is comparison only from robot flow and in my opinion there is nothing supernatural there. Uh, note that in this comparison YOLA v8 is the slowest one of the networks in each class that they compare. As a consequence, this is a not very correct comparison. You need to compare 
different neural networks with each other. So there is no big improvement of the speed. That's all. In my opinion, if you search in what neural network to choose, uh, you need to look not on the speed or accuracy. You need to check just license and uh, how it will work on your platform. For example, for uh, high speed servers, I would prefer Yola V7, for example. And for uh, embedded device, Yola V5 at the moment, but probably it will be Yola V8 in few months. So that's my opinion. Thank you for watching. Bye.